Our world is full of secrets, ancient and new. Things found on our planet and beyond it are extraordinary in equal merit. No one quite knows what lurks either in the outer planes of space or what lies in our ancient past. Every day, scientists and archaeologists seek to uncover these very truths. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three such wonders. Archaeologists found a strange 3,400-year-old ancient empire after water receding. A myriad of empires have ruled the earth in the time humanity has existed, and a myriad have fallen. There are countless empires of the past that we know little about, or even don't know if they existed at all. As is the case with this discovery, Kurdish and German archaeologists found magnificent ruins of an ancient palace which has been traced back to 3,400 years ago. The palace was stated by the University of Tübingen to belong to the Mitanni Empire, which had been lost to the sands of time. The only reason why the palace was discovered was due to the receding waters caused by a drought in the Mosul Dam, on the ancient banks of Tigris in Iraq. The drought meant that the structure could be seen for the first time in millennia. According to Kurdish archaeologist Hassan Ahmed Kasim, the find is one of the most important archaeological discoveries in the region in recent decades and illustrates the success of the Kurdish-German cooperation. Kasim was one of the archaeologists working on the site of the discovery. When the archaeologists saw the structure, they began an immediate rescue of the ruins to salvage as much as they could find of the flooded palace. To date, the ruins of this once extraordinary palace are part of the few artifacts and ruins that have ever been found from the Mitanni Empire. The site was a kilometre long and did not merely include ruins of the palace itself, but likewise roads and houses. The houses have been described as grand, or they were back in their day. It's said that the archaeological site even included a cemetery. Archaeologist Ivana Pulitz of the University of Tübingen claims the Mitanni Empire is one of the least researched empires of the ancient Near East. Even the capital of the Mitanni Empire has not been identified. Despite not being one of the most researched empires in our history, the Mitanni Empire certainly does have its dedicated archaeologists who seek to uncover more about the mysterious civilization. The receding waters were, however, temporary. Therefore, the archaeologists had extremely little time to gather as many artifacts as they could before the dam would once again fill with water and cover the palace entirely. They managed to salvage at least ten suniform clay tablets from the palace, as well as analyse the structure up close. It's fascinating to think that there is an entire town or possibly a city beneath those waters. According to Pulyas, we also found remains of wall paints in bright shades of red and blue. In the second millennia BCE, murals were probably a typical feature of palaces in the ancient Near East, but we rarely find them preserved. Discovering wall paintings in commune is an archaeological sensation. German researchers are now in the process of translating and interpreting the tablets. Let's hope that these tablets will reveal more about the culture of the Mitanni Empire as well as what its people were like and possibly its rulers. In its prime, the Mitanni Empire ruled over parts of Mesopotamia and Syria. Monster Quake on Mars is the biggest ever recorded. Since 2018, scientists have been waiting for Mars to have an earthquake. A seismometer was placed on the red planet and for years has recorded the wavelengths in hopes of registering a quake. Now, that has finally happened, and it's a colossal quake, at least in Martian terms. The InSight Mars lander used by NASA to detect quakes has registered a quake with a magnitude of five temblors at the start of May 2022. This is hardly the first quake that the InSight seismometer has detected. In the past few years, there have been over 1,300 quakes on Mars, but none as intense as this one. InSight's principal investigator, Bruce Bannert states, Since we set our seismometer down in December 2018, we've been waiting for the big one. 
Barnett is part of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California, which is the NASA jurisdiction responsible for the project. The magnitude of 5 is equal to a medium-sized earthquake felt on our planet, and Andrew Good, who also works for the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, claims that there are similarities between both quakes. According to him, the magnitude scale we use for Mars is calibrated to be as equivalent as possible to the seismic movement between Earth and Mars. Allegedly, these quakes are precisely what Andrew Good and his team hoped to see when they sent the seismometer to Mars. The seismic waves reflect material in the planet's crust, core, and mantle. With this data, scientists are able to study the depth of Mars's internal underground layers to see how they are formed and how they actually work, as well as whether the formation of Mars's core and mantle are similar, the same or entirely different to Earth's. Bannert claims, This quake is sure to provide a view into the planet like no other. Scientists will be analyzing this data to learn new things about Mars for years to come. Although the InSight project was granted an extension until the year's end, NASA stated that it's not going to last much longer given that Mars's dust storms and winds will accumulate on its solar panels. Mars is the first non-terrestrial planet on which NASA has managed to place an active seismometer that can record its quakes. This is the biggest quake recorded on another planet, even if to us it is a medium-strength quake. The largest quake previously recorded on Mars was a magnitude of 4.2 back in 2021. Mars quakes of this magnitude are, as far as we know, very mild and uncommon to rise this high. Therefore, in terms of Mars, it's been described by scientists involved as a monster quake. This research could help scientists understand how planets like Mars and Earth formed in the first place. Even the wind on Mars can interfere with the data and corrupt it. Therefore, InSight's seismometer was made to be far more perceptive and withstanding. Volcanic activity might be a cause for some of Mars's quakes, but scientists are still unsure where or how they originate. Future data will help to further understand the way Mars as a planet works. Currently, InSight is dealing with technical difficulties. The Martian winter was cruel and it will surely lose all power by the end of 2022 and is currently in hibernation mode. This means that it shut down all power except for its most vital functions. There is a possibility another seismometer will be sent to Mars at a later date to replace it. James Webb Telescope's New Sharp Image NASA's telescopes are already vastly impressive with how far they can see into space, and yet it seems they have outdone themselves with the development of their new project, the James Webb Telescope. The James Webb Telescope is able to capture crisp, well-focused images. It's a milestone in NASA's technology, and some of the James Webb images have now been shown to the public. The telescope has entered a new phase of being prepared for instrument and mirror adjustments to improve its gaze into the cosmos further. The process takes several months. However, researchers have been working on this since earlier this year, and it is set to be completed in June. Scott Acton, who is the controls scientist at Ball Aerospace, stated, These images have profoundly changed the way I see the universe. We are surrounded by a symphony of creation. There are galaxies everywhere. It's my hope that everyone in the world can see them. The James Webb Telescope, worth $10 billion, was first sent into space in December of 2021. It took the telescope almost a month to rocket into deep space because the progress required several milestones and steps. Fortunately, this process was successful. Recently, researchers running the Webb project announced that the telescope's mirrors have cooled and adjusted to deep space's temperatures. These mirrors are necessary for the James Webb Telescope to see infrared light. According to NASA officials, the optical performance of the telescope continues to be better than the engineering team's most optimistic predictions. This is an excellent achievement, as this sharp image quality could very well become the norm. The next phase for the telescope will be calibrating its inner filters, masks and lenses to work under various configurations. This is to make sure the telescope will be able to function to gather scientific data. The project is being highly observed by scientists who are hoping that the telescope will show us the universe in a way we have never seen before. This world is full of wonders new and old. 
Who knows what we might discover tomorrow? But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.